Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Duff. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. You know about this? Uh, no. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. They only care about helping criminals. No, I, I think you've got the wrong idea. They help all kinds of people. They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. It's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? Shit. Find anything? Not what I need. Wh what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but... Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives! They shot at Snow White! Bigby, what happened to your... You wanna know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I I, I... I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off! Do you get it now? Uh, 
I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. J.D. A book. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher. Is this stuff? I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Anti Greenleaf. A G. This is it. Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Thanks, Fly. I know who she is. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? 
You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh-huh. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a mo- What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast. What? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Please, Green. Just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. 
But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby? This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? You can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. Crane, get away from her. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. 
I can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to you. Damn you. Come on. Please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't? Love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown. Of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had, and the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. <laughs> oh, God. If I were you, I'd keep that trap of your shot. What are you saying?
what you got there. Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wh what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. Right, Wolfie? 
I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, don't do this. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? 